Hi, this is Bill Sanborn from the After Sales team here at Hypertherm. Have you ever wondered what amperage to choose when cutting 3.8 stainless steel? Today we will be talking about cutting 3.8 stainless steel using the HBR 400 XD. A common question is what process do I use and why, since there are multiple choices to choose from. Manual and automatic gas consoles are different. If you have the manual gas console, then H35N2 would probably be the best choice for the best quality versus productivity. For the auto gas console, we would recommend you start with the H35N2N2 process. This process is using the most nitrogen, so volume is critical. A major difference when selecting a stainless steel process is that you have to select both the cutting amperage and the gas combination that will provide the most useful parts. Each option produces different outcomes and it's up to you to select the right process for the job. Now we can explain how these options affect the edge quality and what should be considered when selecting them. Different processes will affect the edge quality differently. Angularity and dross are common questions. With stainless steel, a conventional plasma cutting process is used. Both angularity and dross will always be present. Dross will increase the further you get away from the sweet spot of the cut chart and will be present on the corners and around holes. The color is also something to look at. H35N2 will provide a smooth gold finish to the cut while H35N2N2 process will provide a silver finish. In this picture, you can see a sample cut with F5N2 at 80 amps. You can notice the small amount of low speed dross on the bottom of the part, but also very little angularity. Top dross may also be present in some areas. This picture shows a sample cut with H35N2 at 130 amps. This process will provide a gold finish and dross that will need to be cleaned on the bottom of the part. H35N2N2 at 130 amps tends to be the preferred process for most applications when an auto gas console is available. The edges are crisp with very little dross and provides more of a silver finish. For the 260 amp H35N2 process, you can see the gold finish much like the 130 amp process. You can see the direction of the torch by the white arrows. The yellow line shows the angle of arc lag due to faster cut speeds. This process will have some dross on the bottom, some top dross, angularity, and top edge rounding as shown here. The H35N2N2 process at 260 amps provides less dross than the H35N2. You will notice more exaggerated lag lines in the edge quality and the same top edge rounding. Some helpful hints to keep in mind when cutting stainless steel. Arc lag is something to think about. Since arc lag is greater in stainless steel cutting, you could see a tab left at the bottom of the part at the end of the cut, keeping it connected to the skeleton. Slowing down the speed at the end of the cut will help straighten the arc and allow it to completely cut through the part. Slowing the speed down during holes will also help with the angularity in the hole. Different processes will provide different results and it is important to determine which one works best for you. The key takeaways from this module include all the stainless steel processes are conventional plasma and angularity is expected. The H35N2N2 process is only available with the auto gas console and usually provide the best outcome. The H35N2N2 process uses a large volume of nitrogen when cutting. It is important to make sure the supply is adequate. Slowing down the speed when cutting holes may improve the cylindricity. Slowing down the speed at the end of the cut will help prevent the tab that causes the part not to drop from the skeleton. Water tables may impact stainless steel cutting. 
please refer to your OEM or service provider to discuss issues when cutting stainless steel on your table. Thank you for watching this video on cutting stainless steel with the HPR High Definition Plasma Cutting System. Please check out other helpful videos from all of us here at Hypertherm.